The first time I was in California, when I got off the airplane, I saw the sun. Energy from the sun is infinite. The hard part is to figure out how to use it efficiently. I always wanted to be an engineer because I think engineers are the people who can build things, and uh, that's cool. Zhao Ling Zhang is an associate professor of mechanical engineering at Stanford University, working in the field of nanoscience, the study of structures and materials on the scale of nanometers. Nanoscience studies material that are extremely tiny. A human hair is about 50,000 nanometer. It's difficult to think about things on such a micro scale, but a meter is about 39 and a half inches long. So, if we pretend that the entire Earth is the size of one meter, the one nanometer will be the size of probably like a tennis ball. So, that's the scale we are working with. And for my research, I focus on nanomaterials and energy conversions, particularly how to use sunlight to generate renewable energy using solar cells to convert sunlight to electricity. These, of course, are solar panels. You can think about them as a sort of sun-powered battery that's usually made of a semiconductor material called silicon. Materials that easily transmit energy, such as heat or electricity, are called conductors. While an insulator is a material that is a poor conductor of electricity. Semiconductors are materials that are sort of in the middle as conductivity changes based on environmental factors like light or heat. Like a battery, a solar cell has a positive and a negative side, made of metallic layers with semiconductors sandwiched in between. When energy flows from the sun into this material, electrons are put into motion. The movement of electrons creates a current that can be converted into usable electricity. There are two things that nanoscience can do to solar cells. One is to increase efficiency, the other is to lower the cost. When people think about traditional solar panels, they're quite expensive. Installation is quite difficult. We figure out a way to make solar cells as flexible and light as stickers. The solar sticker can be sticked to the back of a cell phone and that serve as a charger for your cell phone, just constantly charge it whenever the sun is there. My dream is that those type of solar stickers can be used anywhere. What I hope the most is to put on buildings. Because that will have the largest surface area, very close to people's home, so they can power their home. Working on renewable energy is not a choice. We have to do it, because we're going to run out of fossil fuels. One day, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe 100 years, we have to rely on renewable energy. For me, it's the simple desire to provide electricity for regular people that keeps me motivated. People feel better if they know they're doing something good for the Earth. If you realize the electricity you are using does not generate pollutions and is renewable, I think people will be happier. <laughs>